Okay, so today I will be covering the integration part with a shipway, the channel integration that we have. So uh, coming down to settings, we have multiple integrations present of our channels. Uh, once I say channel, that is onto which website, uh, onto which channel is your website built on? That is, it can be Shopify, WooCommerce, Amazon, Magento, and much more that we have in our integration part. I will be covering the major ones. That is the Shopify, WooCommerce, and Amazon. Then Shopify, firstly. So Shopify is basically a simple plugin that or you can uh, directly install it onto uh, the application onto your Shopify store or once you log, log in onto our panel you can directly go to the settings section from settings section you have integration part into integrations we have channel integration we click on to the Shopify if we have the Shopify store there is simple click to connect Shopify store, it will redirect you to the Shopify uh, login page. Just like this, you have to install the application onto the Shopify store and your integration part is done. Once your integration is done onto Shopify, we will have to map some payment methods from your orders that will be capturing onto our uh, onto our uh, panel that is the payment gateway that has installed onto your shopify store it can be razor pay x for cod orders it can be manually payment for uh, different other channels like if you are using any other tool like Shopflow, then those payment uh, methods will be captured as soon as we sync the orders onto the platform so syncing of the orders will be done from orders view orders section you can find this sync order button from the sync order button we have the option of syncing it for one week 15 days one month and two months all your unfulfilled orders will sync onto the platform with the channel logo just like this for an example i have uh, integrated my dummy uh, account over here that is a shopify account you can see the channel over here the channel icon and if you have created any manual order that will be landing up with the channel icon of shipway so this is it for the shopify integration jumping on to the next integration part that is the woocommerce integration so woocommerce integration requires certain credentials to be filled out onto the platform that is you have to map the store title store title can be a simple recognition of your store let's suppose your store uh, name is xyz so you have to simply write down xyz or whatever store name or store title you have to give you can place that over here in the store url just in the same format which we have mentioned in the example that is https and your store name.com or like this that can be https your store name.com slash your store name again then we have two mandatory fields that is the client key and client secret key how these two keys will be uh, you will be getting it from the woocommerce platform so what you have to do is you have to log in onto the admin page of your woocommerce store from your admin online store we have to go to woocommerce setting that you will find it on the left hand side of the woocommerce store from the woocommerce you will go to setting section in the settings section, you will find advanced option over there. You'll click onto the advanced section. You will find a small uh, REST API written right below the advanced section. You'll click onto the REST API, scroll down onto the screen. You will find an add key option. Even for if you want to uh, have a reference link, you can click directly onto this link and find the reference, how you, how you can find this REST API and how you can add the keys onto the platform. For now, uh, you just simply click onto the add key option. You have to fill out the details like you have to mention shipway over there as the title. Then you have to give some permissions. Permissions you have to give for both read and write. Then you have to click on to generate API key button to generate the API key. From there, you can copy down the consumer key and the consumer secret. The consumer key will be the client key over here and the consumer secret will be the client secret key that you will find from there once this is copied from there you can you have the option of syncing the orders by tags also or by status from the woocommerce store
for status once i say status there are some default status onto woocommerce that is processing completed just like that De by default what we capture is the processing stage order we capture it onto our platform that is into a new order section if you want to capture orders by status you can simply mention out those status over here and save the options these are no mandatory field that is the company name store logo email gst if you want to mention you can mention for this store logo woocommerce store logo if you when uh, if you put down your store logo over here or if you upload your store logo over here it will be it will be reflecting onto your shipping labels that you will be printing after processing an order once this is done you have to enable both these two option that is the auto syncing of the orders and auto update order info what is auto sync of the order is once uh, the order you get onto woocommerce store you capture any new order onto your woocommerce store it get automatically synced onto my panel with all the details that you have into that particular order and if you enable this auto update order info that is if you update anything onto your order onto woocommerce store it get reflected onto my panel into new orders new orders tab again once you click onto the sync order button once these mandatory details are filled out into the woocommerce store again we have to fill out the payment methods captioning uh, just like the shopify onto woocommerce also you have different payment methods to capture your orders same will be reflecting once your order is being synced over here the payment method option will be popping up right over here and you can sync those particular payment methods to that particular orders once this is done again you will find all your new orders in orders view orders section just like this you can see the ordered id the customer details the product name the value against those order what is the payment type is it cod or is it prepaid then again the channel if it's a woocommerce uh, order then the woocommerce channel icon will be popping up right over here with the dimension channel date order creation date channel date is the one uh, is the one that uh, we get it from the stores that is the woocommerce or shopify and order creation date is the order that uh, that uh, once uh, the order is captured onto my platform that is the order creation date uh, jumping on to next integration that is the amazon integration so we integrate amazon store for all your self ship orders only for your fulfillment done by amazon there is no need to integrate shop uh, your amazon store over here because uh, we will not be fulfilling your orders it will be directly fulfilled by amazon only so if i click on to amazon what i have to do is i don't have to fill out these details what i have to do is i have to go to this click here option that is right present over here it's an hyperlink text you can click on to the here option it will redirect you to the amazon seller page you can log in into your sh amazon ship way uh, sorry amazon uh, merchant uh, login page from there all your detail will be captured automatically once you have to what you have to do is you have to scroll down onto that page there will be a check box right at the bottom you have to click that check box and press continue once you press continue all your details will be redirected and filled out that is the uh, authorization code the access token the refresh token now the second step will be you have to fill out the merchant id merchant id you will find out again onto the seller page that is the amazon seller panel you have to go to settings into settings you will find business information in the business information you will find merchant token that's the merchant id only you have to copy that merchant token and paste it out in the merchant id section once you are done with this you have to enable either the auto sync if you want to uh, automatically sync all your orders from your amazon store again i'm saying uh, it, we will sync all your self ship orders over here so we will click on to sync only self ship orders then we'll click uh, enable this uh, update tracking number onto amazon after manifest creation so once we have enabled this uh, update tracking number what does this particular feature does is as soon as we close the manifest onto shipfay panel all your awb that is the tracking number will be automatically updated onto your amazon panel that is your amazon seller panel against those orders 
So these are, are the mandatory fields that has to be again filled out for the Amazon integration. If you want to fill out the company name, website, Amazon store, logo, email ID and GST number, you can do that and same will be reflected onto your uh, shipping uh, uh, label. For Amazon labels, if you are processing it through Amazon channel, uh, sorry, Amazon courier partner, there is no intervention of changing anything onto the shipping label. This is default set by the Amazon only. So once this is done, we will save all the settings from here. And again, all your orders will land into orders, v orders section. So these are three different integration that are uh, basically present in the market that multiple sellers or brands are currently using. That is the Shopify, WooCommerce and Amazon integration. So this is it for the integration part of uh, Shipway with Shopify, Amazon and WooCommerce. So thank you for the session today.